Well, hello, booze and ghouls, and welcome to Terry's True Paranormal Experiences. I would like, if I may, to take you along on a strange journey. This next one I call The Lurker of Rose Hill Cemetery. In Cumberland, Maryland, where I grew up, there are a number of old cemeteries, but none so tightly crammed full of monuments, tombs, headstones, and mausoleums as Rose Hill Cemetery. By day, it can be foreboding. In the fading hours of dusk, I would discover it can be terrifying. I lived in an old house in a quiet neighborhood half a block from Rose Hill Cemetery. When my car broke down, I had to walk to work while saving to get it fixed. The route I took to and from work both went by Rose Hill and another less cluttered cemetery. As I was walking home one evening, the sun had already set and the night was quickly approaching. The street lights had just come on, further illuminating the surroundings. I had already passed the first cemetery and had reached the wrought iron fence surrounding Rose Hill. The street was barren of any pedestrians or residents. In fact, being a Sunday, there were very few cars parked on the road. The only sounds were coming from the crickets and a lone dog barking. As I walked along the sidewalk, I wasn't thinking of the cemetery that lay just feet away from me. I was more concerned with getting home and resting after my shift and that long walk. Suddenly the stillness of the night was broken by a shadow slipping silently along the hillside of the cemetery, about 30 feet up the hill from me. From the corner of my eye, I caught the movement, which abruptly ended behind a tall monument. The activity was very unexpected, as the cemetery gates were closed at dusk, and people weren't paying their respects at that hour. I paused and looked at the spot where the shadow had disappeared. I thought I had seen some movement behind the tall, narrow stone, but when nothing else happened, I continued on, glancing frequently in that area. During one of my glances, I caught the shadow movement again as it faded behind the cover of a large tree. I knew I was being watched and followed. I picked up my pace, my eyes not leaving the trunk of the old tree. The next thing I knew, a black shadow in human form ran and crouched behind a large headstone. The figure had no discernible features or collars. It was just transparent black. A fear began to grow as I realized this was not a human being. Just a black shadow. My own shadow paled in comparison to the dark figure. To make matters worse, we were both headed in the same direction, toward the intersection in front of me and the cemetery entrance. I was walking briskly at this point, staring at the shadow that was moving in fluid motion, racing from the cover of a small family tomb and darting behind a monument. All the while, I grew closer and closer to the cemetery gates. Finally, the adrenaline kicked in and I took off running. When I glanced over, I saw that the entity was no longer hiding behind anything, but had taken off in a full sprint, racing toward the gates and the intersection and me. Although I knew the gates were closed and locked, something told me that the bars on the gates would not contain it. I ran as fast as my legs would carry me across the empty intersection and took one last glance back. Through the bars of the cemetery fencing, I could see it had nearly reached the gates and it was not slowing down. I continued down the block away from the cemetery and then doubled back to get home. I didn't stop running until I got to my front door, expecting that thing to be on my heels. I was inside the house and had the door bolted shut in seconds. That night, I had nightmares that the thing knew where I lived and was coming for me. I stopped working that shift after that, and I never passed by that cemetery again on foot when the light of day was fading. Well, thank you for joining me on this tale. And remember, pleasant dreams. <laughs>